all right guys welcome back to the channel once again okay so we have like uh, this uh, other database credentials over here as well so let's go and create another config over here so database config so inside the config just we have database so just create the file db.config.ts okay so same scenario export default register as register as okay inside that data base so it's gonna be like this uh we have to include some entities and migration name and all the things as well so we're gonna be including over here let's suppose entities okay so we're gonna be adding later migrations migrations okay so we're gonna be adding over here so all the details we have to add so we're gonna be adding slowly slowly and let's go so let's go to now the database we have to create one more another file db database db dot module okay so so just gonna export class database config module dot t module okay so like this okay we don't need parentheses it is not sorry add the rate module module and then inside that you have to load so I just say imports and then inside the whole config module or root okay and inside that you have to do load so load database config database config database config db config so db config has been loaded now you can apply for validation schema over here so joy dot object let's uh, import joy first okay over here joy okay now joy dot object okay here i have to include all the mysql hosts and post everything not i'm not making this a word because we don't need the password over there so keep it as easy, easy okay so this is the validation checks done over here now we just need to create the config service so just it. so just go over here export okay like this and then construct it so where we will make the construction later so just put constructor and inside that we have to inject okay so we can create one more function over here like this get connection inside that connections we can just export all of these things over here so return return like this return and into this one we can just get it. this dot host uh, db database db name entities okay this that entities migration so whatever the details required into the database so we're gonna be doing the setup like this so migrations like migrations so whatever the required in connection of database module so we have to use this use the things like this okay so it is connected now we have to create another uh, database connection module so just go into the source and just create database okay? database over here like this and inside the database just create one file database dot module dot ts okay so just create export class database module okay and then just include the module above at the rate you like this imports okay and how to add just to type orm module dot o root async and then just to use factory okay use factory inside that config service comma app config service so we're gonna be using the database config service so database config service like this okay so now we're gonna be returning data so host host okay so host what details we need okay for the connection database connection so let's go over there and then uh, we gotta see okay so let's go to nestjs configuration so this one is almost done we don't have to go through with this one so let's go to database connection so database connection is over here all the things you know so you have to install these things from the for database so you can just copy this and go into your terminal and paste it over here like this and it's gonna install all the detail all the things like mysql and the type orm for you and then you can later on use the type orm okay so this is the all details you need for the database connection like entities what entities you want to contain into while doing the migrations and the secondized true is not required by default because it's kind of uh, 
makes the problem in syncing the data together so it's not required in the production okay so let's leave it as it is but these details you have to require so just keep all these details such so a copy from here okay okay and let the copying from username database you have to copy database go to this file db config service db name except db name just put database host port username database and then entities just copy entities go over there entities over here like this okay and the migrations migration sorry migrations so we have to use the migrations as well so let's see this need migration or not so migrations are not required over here just because the migration things is required when you do the migrations okay so let's go into the code right now and this is so we don't need this part over here so leave it as it is okay now just keep these things as it is over here go to your database module just over here just do service dot connections leave it and now go to your app dot module dot ts and include your database connection so first you have to include your database config module over here so database config module okay, like this okay after that just do more stuff so include database module like this and your database connection connection so this says config error validation error dot message mysql password not allowed to be empty so what is the mysql password how about we don't validate it but still we're gonna put some values into it so let's pre value root i think okay and let us see okay so it says cannot property reading and defined connections so got this problem so we have to inject over here so inject we have to check database config service we have to import database config database config module okay now i think it should work okay so we have to export as well from here so import let's export as well exports database config server so if we export from here database module so database config database module so over here as well we have to ex import our database config service so go over here import providers database config service and export as well for database config service so database module so db module we have imported exported same we did in the app config module.ts config service app config service okay so we have to install config service as well comma config service we forgot that sorry config service config service now okay so this is done this is done now go database module over here database config service database module okay so it's like providers providers database config service okay so we have to include the type as well over there the type is not included so let's go to the db config service so we have to include type so type gonna be we have to go db config over here type gonna be my sql sorry my sql okay go back to db config service over here type equals to so clear type my sql host control c over get type db dot type over here this and then go back down over here this uh, type okay yes do this and now uh it's not using the password so this is the error coming right now so if we go over here so we don't include the password so we just remove the password from here the connection it will work for our error known database test so we need to create the database test so if we go over here we see we don't have test schemas go over here so we have already create one schema test apply create a schema test it will work from here okay close so schema test has been created just close this one we need to start again and see our database connection is done okay so our test database is connection done so we are not using password so we don't have to pass the password from here for now localhost i'm using the route only so that is a different connection so the database connection is kind of done almost okay so there's no any problem with it so we can use this database connection anymore okay with the user entities and all but what we have to do now we have to do a migration so for the migrations there is a different scenario over here so let's suppose you see your database connection thing is done over here so if you see 
view here all the things so this is kind of entity you have to create and the relationship between the table but the major part is this one migration so migration of incrementally update database schema keep it in the application data like whatever the entities you are creating those should be migrated into your database tables data you should create the database table whatever the entities you are creating over here like users or other modules you are creating okay so for doing that there is a different documentation for it so type ORM documentation we have to go over there and look through the database connect uh, database migration thing so creating new migration you have to go through with this so you need to create you need to get entities and migrations together and the migration table name so these three things you know you need before creating the migrations you need to create it through a data source okay so there's a called uh, there's a, a class name called data source which you have to include this all the database connection thing and then it will try to migrate you have to run the cli commands which are over here type where migration so we're going to be using the type of migration migration generate and the path for migration and then we're going to be creating the migration for that okay so let's go over there let's create one more we don't have to uh, database module over here right now so what we can do uh so let's go through with that let's create one more file database migration so just so when they're creating over here just create one folder over here migration migrations like this and then you file inside of it db migration data source dot ts like this and then you have here you can create code cons cons data source equals to new data source okay like this and inside that you can just part all the connection you can pass all the connections over here or like uh, you can just create the connection options like cons connection options okay like this okay, like this over here all the connection options and those connection options you can use over here connection options okay like this so okay so you have to include so but better you just remove this one and whatever the connection options you need so just include over here so just copy all the things from the documentation which is defined over here like this so you need all these things to the connection option just copy all these things control c go over here control v okay so like this and the entity we're gonna be doing like this so just look like this dist slash so the where the entity you're gonna find you're gonna find an entity star is star inside any folder dot dist star dot entity dot js okay so we can put it inside this like dot js or comma dot ts whatever it could be okay so just like this you can pass migrations you can find into this one so we're going to be we can create one database uh, over here so we have a database over here so migrations folder so not migration folder we should keep it above in the database so just move it above over here like this and this migrations folder we can give over here so any migrations going to be created so it's going to be picking from there so we can create like uh, Dist, dist slash a source slash database migrations. Okay, so all the migrations are gonna be picked from this folder. Okay, easy peasy. And table name, migration table name, you can put something like uh, test migrations. So it will pick all the entities from that. And let's just so my MySQL localhost username, you can put root. So you can put export default. Okay, let's do. And now let's go to the case.json. So we have to write some scripts over here. So we have to write the script for post migration and the run. Okay, so let's do this migration generate. Okay, so over here we're gonna be writing the migration like this. So to write it migration generate so we have to do npm run build first before doing any migration so we don't have to write over here so we're going to be writing npm run typo rm okay and then typo rm dash dash generate migration generate okay like this okay same for migration run migration run so we can do npm run type orm so make sure your type program is installed before doing this migration run okay do that migration run okay so now we have to write the uh, line for type orm as well so just try type orm because this is not the actual command which we're going to be writing so we're going to be writing over here npx 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 okay so npx okay let's go there in the documentation check it first type version minus generate ah so this is your command going to be npx type orm and after that you have to run okay like this so npx type orm so we're going to be writing like this npx type orm 
him and then you have to pass the path name d before that we have to do npm run build let's suppose if you are doing directory migration and you don't have this file generated so npm run build and then after that it's gonna be running and then you have to run this folder so source slash uh, source slash database dot ts okay so this file you have like this take this file to generate the migrations okay so let's try it on it works or not so just do npm run migration generate let's see this works so build has been created now it's creating type rm latest not found in this registry also installed from a tall bill so we have to install the type of rm was let's see the type, type of rm is there or not RM. so we have the type of rm not found the type of rm not found that the latest is not in the registry okay so let's try to install type of RM. so let's just open the command terminal and copy that command i think we already installed it so we don't need to install it again right controller type of rm oh so this is the problem i did the spelling mistake over here now let's try okay so it says i have not included the path migration generate path okay so i have to include the path so type rm dash slash database slash database slash migrations let's include let's open the migration folder so it says cannot use import statement outside the module so i have fixed the problem so the problem is coming from here so it was not taking the entities file properly so has not imported the modules like the entities file entities over from here so the use of the entity is not included was not included over here like this so you have to include the entities for feature time over model and all the things so that's how it's gonna work so you have to include this over here so it's gonna be imported into the app dot module so you would use the modules included so that's how it's getting injected in the type of rm and when you look for the entities so this file so where we written the data source file over here data source so this file and this line entities it will look over the entities and try to create the migrations for them okay so this migration file can be generated and here if you write the like uh, going to the package.json over here so this line for generating the migration but you have to include the line name uh sorry like the file name like uh which file you want to generate the migrations okay so let's suppose you write like this npm run generate run migration generate okay so after that you have to provide the path name so source slash database slash migration migrations slash migration okay okay like and then you start migration so it's gonna be generating the migrations for you over here so no migration in the database table right now because there's no changes exist so but you will get the migrations like this over here so you see the user table has been generated so let's suppose if i delete this migration table from here let's go delete it okay and now if you try to generate the migration again so migrations migrations so you generate to something like so cannot for generate migration to be a new migration we create okay so let's check this out if there will we have don't have any changes over here create one more over here like column something like this city tit okay let's do the migrations migrations source database migrations okay like this okay so you see the migrations has been generated so if we go over here in the migration folders so this migration generated so what it did it just added the state column inside the user database table now if i do the migration npm run migration so uh, npm run migration run okay so if i do the migration run so it will add that uh, uh, this column into my database okay so if i go into database over here into the test and i just refresh it like this so you see in the table or oh, test migration table should be included let me sorry let's go to the database again and then refresh it so you see the users and over here so it should be state as well so you see the state has been included over here like this so that's how your uh, tables just and if you want to see the structure of the table so if you do have any data so you can see the tables if you don't have any data so now what in next video we're going to be looking at how we can use the repositories so we're going to be using like this repositories how entities as a repository how we're going to use in the user service and how we're going to do the transactions like this not taking this video longer so just we're going to be injecting the repositories over here and we're going to be doing the different different kind of queries and transaction into the uh, type of rm so i'm going to tell you all the things like how we can how you can do the complex queries and the normal queries and pagination and all the things so i'm going to be telling you in the next video how you can do that easily okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video